sometime later. Can we just help her out by giving her time? Wouldn't that fix the problem? Catch! Oh! Oh, you got one! But that's not actually who we... Or was he? Are you sure you captured him alive? Hey, Ryoshu! Doesn't he kinda look... A bit different from the mysterious person that got away? He's certainly wearing something different. Besides, he's one of the Yoko DVA we already ran into. Clothes are just husks that can be casted off at any moment. He started running as soon as our eyes met. Hey, rise and shine! Go! How am I the suspicious one? Anyone would run if someone like you started sprinting after them! With that big sword in your hand! To be fair, that is a scary display. <laughs> I have many, many ways to crush the truth out of you. First, no dismembering. Huh. This is the Yuri Devier's turf. You will soon regret dragging me down here. <laughs> I prepared this secret weapon just for this occasion. Weapon? Watch out. But nothing happened. And what was that? One of the five greatest inventions of the Yoga DVA's T Corp branch! The portable, adjustable, frequency, periodical, lightning aperture attachment, sound wave generator! What? This will call every single Yoga DVA in range to this exact location. Ah! There! See what I mean? You see the problem remaining amongst inventors? You never know when to stop when it comes to naming the invention. You'll pay dearly for smacking me in the back of my knocking! Seriously? Really? You don't have to call everyone now. You did call everyone now. Huh! So, and the last of them. Perfect job, everyone. Perfect job. Now... Did we capture them? Do they have enough? Would you like to talk? Hmm? <laughs> Would you like to talk? We are always open for talk. Are there more waves coming? The dying detective. Okay, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good in the slightest. By the way, I just skipped into the next fight right away after a short break. Since it was just another <coughs> little, little battle. Either way. After matching various pieces of information we found from the defeated Yogo Divye's members together, we managed to track them down to a rundown building that appears to be their hideout. That's not good. Why would they share the location? Oh, Honglu! I recognize this hat and that monocle <laughs> and that eye tattoo, I guess, as well. <laughs> so, you finally managed to track us down. Haven't you? Fifty four chains of T Corp. And you, you clock! <laughs> wow, you clock, he says. It's only an inventory, because I am an ace detective! Of course, Rodeon, of course you are. <laughs> Rodeon exclaimed triumphantly as she flicks her hair back, but I sense the smallest hint of uncertainty in her voice. Yep, we are all ace detectives. <laughs> I admit, we shouldn't have let you track us down. But you don't look too strong. It's a foolish move to fight a lion in a stench. I hope you're preparing yourself. Ah, don't you worry about our butts. We've got the class 5 staff with us, you know? <laughs> I can deduce a few things about you. One, that man's outfit. That aloof look on his face. I see. It's likely that you're not lying that he's really is a class 5 staff. Two, you're absolutely shameless for bringing a class 5 watch chain to a rundown hideout like that. Hey, he wanted to join us. This was not our idea. He wanted or she wanted to come along with us. Okay? Why does this have anything to do with shame, right? I don't know about shame, but this place sure is a bit run down. Right, how about this? I'll just sit this one out just for the sake of fairness. 
What? But you have iron cloths. I would love to see what you're able to do with that thing. You might have a suit underneath the, all of those casual clothes, like the other teacup agents. Maybe some kind of supreme suit that haven't, we haven't seen before. Ah, <sighs> but okay, it's fine. It would be like cheating if I were to take part in the fight. Yeah? Maybe a little bit. That is a fair proposal. Fine. I accept your offer. Do we not get a say in any of this? Nope, Dante. You know it very well. They just do whatever the heck they want. All of them. And I'm pretty sure the first wave are just a normal bunch, which means... I can just skip ahead until the next one. I think that was already enough. Perfect job. Wait a second, where is that... that guy? I thought he would be joining us this fight. Oh, no, my then. I guess we're going to skip the entire fight because he's just trying to tire us out. Is that his idea? Is he actually trying to uh, get us tired or something? Because I'm about to tell you that's not gonna work. That never works because we literally have the power of infinite time and infinite penetration. As long as one of the sinners is able to back us up, we can always hear the others, right? So, that should be the last of them. Perfect job, everyone. No issues whatsoever. Now then. No after cutscene? I guess they're going to save that for the next cutscene. Yeah, the Euro is mystery. And three enemy types. That looks very, very promising. He has to be in that one, right? Surely. Surely he has to be in this one. <laughs> Let me see. Two ways. It's a decent chance. It's a decent chance. Oh, there's no... Ah, it's a focus encounter as well. That increases the odds even more. Right? <laughs> so, okay. There he is. I was about to say, if he doesn't show up, that would be really, really weird. Okay, have you no shame? Those up to nine tremor counts and normal tremor. That's good. Gain three times tremor count on self. Shield maximum of 30 HP. That's not so bad. He's not really showing off all of his skill yet. That's a bit worrisome, but I guess that's fine. If the target is staggered by this unit's attack or tremor burst, all allies will heal SP. Okay, I cannot allow him to ever stagger any of my guys. Okay, that's redirected, redirected, dominated, 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 and I don't really care about the defense dice, I think. Yeah, I don't really care that much about the defense dice. That's a good start. 13, 13. Are we already reaching the stagger bar? Unless, of course, he means if he gets staggered himself, but I'm pretty sure he said trigger, uh, stagger burst, right? His own stagger burst, most likely. Oh my god! Oh my god, Honglu! You almost murdered him with a single attack! <laughs> oh god, the detective idea is quite strong, I have to give him that. I have to give him that, which makes me a little bit worried about the other skill of this guy, especially seeing how he had a, a tech up, but oh, never mind, the tech up is for us. It's a bit uh, confusing sometimes if I just go for the head. <laughs> Since both of them are wearing the same head. It's this purple. He has the K. Ah, I see. That's the same one that uh, heat confuses with uh, the Uffy. Uffy. Identity, right? Pretty sure. I think I wanted to cancel that with the green dice, right? Yeah, most likely. Most likely the green attack. Okay then. Starts off strong. We have the damage boost as well. That is certainly going to reach uh, the stagger bar. Right? His stagger bar is actually quite a high. Not a thing about it. It wasn't even at 50%. Which is usually the place where they would place the stagger bar. 
or near the end of his HP bars to ensure that he won't casually get staggered at the start of a, a battle. Since usually speaking, in a normal encounter like this, once you stagger him once, most cases they're not really able to recover from it, just as this guy is pretty much about to die. And there's absolutely nothing he can possibly do against us. <coughs> not even sure if he's able to survive Hong Lu's attacks. He literally has damage up. He survived barely on 2 HP. That's almost nothing. And now the other group is already staggered as well. And I'm pretty sure this guy is not going to have any uh, better time, right? Yeah. The stagger is also quickly approaching. This is not good for them at all. This is not good for the sliders. They have the pride buff, but what's the point of the pride buff if they're about to get obliterated, right? There's absolutely no point to this. <laughs> he won't even have a chance to attack. This guy's like, no, is about to stagger him into absolute oblivion. <laughs> Trevor is so strong sometimes. The power to to stagger them so quickly is so buffed. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, so uh, we quickly moved our conversation into the hideout after defeating the Yuridivies members. Oh, that guy is still alive! Gah! Surrender and confess. Starting to run low on patience. Might kill you soon. Uh, no, looks like Virasha is getting tired of playing detective, huh? <laughs> we have surrendered already. Not sure what you want us to confess either. What, would you like for us to confess that we are the Yuri de Vigue or something? No, we would like you to confess about the time killing, but I'm not entirely sure if you're actually related to that. <laughs> we hesitated, unsure if he really was clueless or not. That is when Rodia confidently strode it forward and pointed an accusatory finger at Yuri Devier's captain. Right, questioning time! You've always hated this nest state of affair, am I right? Must you really ask that? You like inventing stuff and not register them to the tech agency, don't ya? Again. Must you really inquire about something you could discern simply by just looking around? Oh, mind if I take a gender at this investigation? Oh, sure. Wait, don't just go around touching. Hmm, I see. This hatchet toy is a time bomb disguised as a plushie. It scans the palm as soon as it enters within a certain proximity range, and if it doesn't recognize the palm as an authoritized individual, it will shoot out its spine to penetrate intruder. But you screw the part to tighten it down here. You'll do well to remember that mechanical engineering isn't all about tightening the screws as hard as you can. Sometimes you need a slightly new screw or two to make things just fit better. And another thing, if I were you, I would have made a spine hole hexagon shaped, not circular like that. You could tell all that from a quick look? Certainly no common employee. Either way, most of those were experiments. Incomplete products. In truth... In truth, you like making more dangerous, destructive inventions too, right? You really are a persistent one, aren't you? What are you getting at? And I'm sure the violent inventions eventually lead to something that can completely rip someone's time away. Wait, I'm what? The corporate behind the case of Time Killing Time! It's you guys, right? It's what you do, isn't it? You see something that rubs it the wrong way, so you go ahead and smash it to bits. That's a bit of a logical leap, isn't it? Who do you think the Yuri DVA are? Sounds like this friend of yours is the Yuri DVA, really messed up big times in the past, huh? Did he do something drastically violent? No, Sonia, well, he... He always knew how to say the right things. Things to get people to agree with him, to convince them to just join his cause, like he tried to do with you back in the past. But it kind of seemed like he was trying to brainwash you. Which gladly didn't work, right? <laughs> his world filled me with this confidence that he could really change the world. 
that it really was as effortless as letting candy slowly melt away in my mouth. But what could he possibly do to change the world? He doesn't even do anything. Not like these guys. I bet the T-Corp Yuri Devoyers are nothing more than knockoffs who just found themselves inspired by the stories coming out of J-Corp or something like that. <laughs> it's absolutely baffling how you fail to correctly deduce a single thing. No, we are not knockoffs. Besides, the saint has already brought many changes to the world. Changes that your mere detective can't even dream of. Wait a second, the saint? The saint? Is he talking? Is he going to proclaim himself the messenger of God or something? Wow! <laughs> Indeed! Saint Sonya was the one who really sparked the fire of the Yuri DBAs in every nest. Well, it isn't the only reason they call him the saint, but that's beside- Oh god, that's not gonna sit well with me. Oh no, I'm not gonna call him saint. Screw that. <laughs> I hate it when a character becomes a saint. They're getting so full of itself. He already said that he was a chosen one with the mark of something, right? Wait, Yuri Devie in every nest? Sonya did that? He's everywhere already? Since you claim to be the Saint Sonya's friend, allow me to say it in no uncertain terms. The Yuri Devie has nothing to do with your case. Sonia, he... <laughs> Are we supposed to take you at your word? First, we don't have this time-killing technology. We can steal time or time pieces, but it's particularly impossible to just kill time. Making something so absurd would surely catch the tech agency attention, right? That's true. And that is trouble that I'm not willing to invite. True. Why? You've certainly been causing a ruckus here. Isn't that what the Yuri DBA wants? Chaos? Please, don't compare us to the likes of the Backstreet Gangs, though there are those among us who want that chaos, of course. One of our former members insisted that we must take the abundance of time in t for ourselves and have our comrades divided equally among us. But such drastic action would also hurt the half not those who do not deserve such pain. So we must adhere to the saint's teaching. To truly tear out the throat of the rich, we must wait for the right moment. The right moment, I see. So it really was, Sonya. So, I've been wondering, are you really the saint's friend? Of course she is, why would she lie about that? There! See? Of course she is! He even invited her to join her in this journey, but she declined! <laughs> so, uh, why don't we just leave for now? We can always come back here once we uncover more evidence, that's true. But they might actually run away from here. And we'll take all of the evidence alongside with it, if we just leave them be. Either way, then they said that we should leave now. Hmm? Are we not arresting them? Didn't one of you give me a whole lecture about how it is my job to rest? Yeah, but you didn't even move a finger to do anything around here, so I, I would say we could just let them go. Well, are we going to let them go? Rudy ignores the assistant's question, turn around to leave the hideout, wearing a dark expression, something I'd never seen from her before. The, sign, the assistant shrugged and we were about to leave the hideout as well. But the Yuri Devier's captain stopped us. Wait, if you really are the friend of the saint, then I can't just let you leave without giving you some advice as the more experienced detective. I was able to establish a few things from this conversation, so allow me to share them with you. And now you want to help us? Alright, you dabble in detective work from time to time as well, yes? Is there some common thing that you, you would get up to? Not really. <laughs> No, only the Yuri DVA branch in District 20 do. Anyways, if I were you, I would start by looking for a common thread that ties all victims together. Find out what they have all in common. And why? The T-Corp Collective Agency know everything about time, where it comes from, where it goes, but not with this case. But if they know everything about coming and going of time, how are you avoiding their eyes? Not all of us do. I can tell you more, however. 
just know that we have an ace up our sleeve that let us continue our gulary activities in this nest. Anyways, does it not strike you as odd that for someone with such an impressive technology that can quite literally rip away time without a trace, the killer seems unusually passive? This tells me there is a condition that they must first meet to use their powers. Another possibility is that they have a certain creed or a belief system that they follow. But ideologically motivated corporates usually leave behind more obvious evidence that points to their beliefs. True. Oh, I think that adds up nicely then. Hey, wanna join our squad of ace detectives? Of course, why not? Who the hell hires this public team of amateur detective wannabes? Oh, never mind. Now, would you kindly just leave this plane? He showed interest because of. Oh, God. What are you guys doing? He should have taken my sword along. He should have. He would have done such a good job. Okay, well, uh, we know now where the Yugodimi is, alright? We can always come here if we ever need anything else, right? No. As I said, they're probably going to change the hideout now. Dante, there's no way they're tied down to just one hideout only, right? They always have backup, backup, backup hideouts. Is that an odd impression? Which odd impression are they trying to figure out what happened? There's a decent chance for that. Huh. Well then, the Yoga DVA is swearing up and down that they've got nothing to do with this case. And the Time Ripper is still at large. What now, Ace Detectives? But we don't have any other leads. The one we talked to just left the hideout, so why don't we just follow him? We want to tail that Yoga DVA? Why? Well, looks like not arresting them may pay off after all. I think it's a fair suggestion. Waste of time. We should torture them one by one until someone breaks through. That's not gonna help Ryoshu. <laughs> According to page 155th of Lady Agatha's book, an ace detective must always remain vigilant and not shy away from stakeouts. You're already on page 155th? Oh, where, where do you have the time to read all of that? Don gave us this book so that we can all become ace detectives. <laughs> I've been reading it whenever I can. During the conversations as well? During the fights? How is he able to do that? Either way, the Yuga DVA's petty time thievery won't change the world. Is that why you're letting them go? Because it doesn't matter? Huh? Oh no, not at all. It's the opposite, in fact. I want to see things, you know, change. Change? It is said that the Yoga DVA started from a small group of nobodies, but they kept at it, slowly but surely, spreading through the city. I've heard that they've been causing some real trouble in some nest, that they find it difficult to get rid of them. Do you know what people have been saying here, t -Corp? Running low on time, but burning full of frustration. Then come join the Yoga DVA! Unlike most people who accept injustice and move on, they don't. They refuse to turn a blind eye, confident and determined that they will one day bring real change to the city. It's only natural that I find them extremely fascinating to witness to what end do their desperate desires and aspiration lead. So you're just curious once again. Hmm. Well, nothing but important squirms. <sighs> I'm sorry, do any of you even give a damn about solving the case? Of course I do, but so far we haven't really made any progress about it. This case has a certain destructive aesthetic to it. I like it. I'm following my family's eldest word, to see and experience as much of the world as I can before I return, because their words better be followed. That sounds excruciating bothersome. So many things in this world presume that they deserve to call themselves family. <laughs> I've never heard you talk like that before, Ryoshu. Hmm. Well, either way, what will you ever accomplish with such half-heartedness? Uh, don't worry about it. 
Most people live on with that half heartness. It's been eons since I really desired something with all my heart, you know? <laughs> no, I'm... I'm not most people. I'm... From the distance, loud, rapid footsteps broke through Rodia's quiet whispers. Oh, I knew it. The culprit was the only way after all! No, of course not! Wait. Gah! They're here. Won't give them a slip this time! Yeah, go, Ryoshu! Get him! <laughs> Let's go! Maybe I'll catch them this time if you learn to breathe like my sword, Ryoshu! <laughs> Rodia, let's... Rodia came to a sudden stop and looked at me, staring at me from underneath the shadows cast over her eyes. Dante, do you really think it would have been any different if I... followed Sonia back at the casino? Wait, why do you ask that now? I mean, it's just... Watching Sonya's goal actually starting to take shape while I stagnate. I'm changing. I'm... It's making me feel... Oh no, don't start downing yourself now. You know where this is going to lead you. Do you want to distort like Heathcliff? That doesn't solve anything, Rodia. Oh, she's hesitating. Odd. And on. An odd impression. Oh, this is not good. Oh, please, not her! Do not let her distort! Please! Not because of Sonya! The wannabe saint! The wannabe saint! Oh my god, the Time Ripper? Can we see him in person now? Is he actually here? You are late, clock. The two sinners had a head start, but it didn't take very long before we caught up to them. And saw them quietly kneeling behind covers. We go ahead and draw their attention. We should be able to corner them in this direction. Since Ryosho and Halu are out there to draw the culprit here, we just have to do our part and capture them. Right. What's wrong, Rodia? Just every time I think about Sonya, I remember all the things that I didn't do. That's all. Rodia. Ah, nope. Not gonna let this drag me down. I just gotta do what I can, right? Wouldn't it be nice if the culprit showed up right now so that I can just get my hands on him and get this over with? Till so you finally stop downing yourself? <laughs> All this waiting around is getting so tedious. Hopefully I look really badass when I erase them. You certainly recovered quickly, huh? Now that's a good attitude to have. Well, you know, ain't that how emotions are supposed to be? Constantly changing with time, you know? Is it now? I don't quite agree. Emotion don't really change with time. I would say that the changing emotions are what drives the flow of time. Hmm, that's some complicated stuff. I just can't wait to hear all that praise they're singing for me once I snack this Yuri de Vienna rascal. That's all. You know, I wanna be an ace! <laughs> What's up with that shadow? She's getting shadow over the eyes every time. I think she's still downing herself. She's just not letting it on. It feels like Rudy has the kind of girl that just bottles up all her emotion until they burst out. Just like the revelation in, in her chapter. There was no resolvement of the issue whatsoever. She just denied Sonya, went back to the group, had a little conversation. And that's it. She didn't overcome her issue at all. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> it is still there. Oh yeah. Now then. Then you shall have your chance. What's that guy again? Who is it that guy? Huh. A chance for you to be the center of attention. A subject of praise. Huh? That long coat. That hat. You're... Rodia! Dante! The culprit ran that way! You're the Time Ripper! Is it actually... Is it... Okay! Machine? Correct! Huh. This isn't good. If it take a while for Hongdu and Ryosha to get here. But before we get down to business, allow me to make a few corrections. One. I'm no longer bound to an organization like the Euro DBA. 
In fact, I found their hypocrisy detestable. You know that even the Yubadili did not use their others equally amongst one another. That is why I have chosen action. 2. I am not killing time. You will not compare my crusade to something so horrible. I am merely reaping dying hours to share it amongst those who need it most. You may call me the time saint instead. Are you kidding me? Another saint? What the hell are you talking about? Shut up and... All this is flying over your head, isn't it? You poor thing, starve for even wars of praise. This is both a correction of your ignorance and your final warning. If you wish to capture me, no, us, then you must be prepared to pay the price in time. Was that an attempt at a threat? <laughs> you seriously think that you can scare me like that? Sure, you're the big scary time ripper. But I've got you all figured out. I know your pattern by now. There's something stay in your hand, isn't there? Whether it's your creed, some kind of design flaw in your tech, you can't touch my time. How do you like this ace detective deduction, huh? <laughs> Half right. But you have given me two more corrections to make. One, I am not the one killing time. It's you. And everyone like you, who is killing time. Two, indeed, we cannot rip time away from just anyone, no. But I can take yours. Because you, at this very moment, are my intender. What? Just buying the time, aren't you? Waiting for something to happen. Killing time. We are merely taking back the time that you would have killed anyways. What? Sweda asked, and you might carve a small chunk of our flesh. But we will rip a chunk out of your existence. You will stay awake when the clock strikes four in fifty years' time. Have done nothing, having lived through nothing. All in the blink of an eye. That is when it shall dawn on you. That despair. It all comes rushing in like flood. That disparity. The unfamiliarity of all the time you've killed. Every pain a reminder of every single second you've killed. Thinking about how tedious it all is. Oh no. You look scared. I, we, like that look in your eye. That's not good. Rodia stood there completely frozen. No one could stop the Time Ripper as he walked away from us. Not me. Not Rodia. Oh my god, are we actually letting him go? Come on! It's the he can't just steal our time, right? The corporate, where are they? I thought I could take them on, but when I came face to face with the Ripper, I... You froze, Rodia! You froze! How could you give them the slip? They threatened her, that they were going to rip away her time. Oh no. And the Ripper knew. They knew how oh, I felt, so... Oh, never mind. It seems to me that Rodia decided not to say it out loud, but... I knew that the word she wanted to say was tedious. Pathetic. Unlike you, Ryosho, my time is important. I'm not here to just make those stupid pointless observations about the case. I didn't volunteer out of some weird obligation either, okay? I volunteered because I genuinely wanted to solve this case. I'm not like you, either of you. Okay, why are you starting to defend yourself now, Rodion? It's fine, we can, we can get him another time. I briefly grew concerned that Ryoshu might swing her scabbard at Rodia, but I don't think she was listening anyways. How banal. 
Instead, she stared at the clock tower in silence as a cigarette slowly burned its way to her lips. I guess that's a relief at least. Rodia, I... Sorry, I think I'm just getting tired of wearing a silly smile. Oh no. Emotions are breaking out. Emotions are breaking out! Maybe that doubt is what he needs. Maybe the, the trigger point is doubt? Is that it? But, I uh, wait, wait, the other guy was doubting himself because of the salt and the bacon. Maybe it is related to that feeling. And the other guy also mentioned that emotions would be the one that triggers the flow of time. Our assistant mentioned that. Interesting. Nevertheless, I guess we're going to figure even more out with a twist in time. Let's see. Read a twist in time. Oh god, I read that wrong. <laughs> Rodia was always the one to lift the team smooth when it's down, but not today. The mood among us had grown so incredibly awkward and cold that I was almost starting to feel chills in my fingers. I guess this is what happens when Rodia is in a depressive mood. If we were back at the bus, or if you sang or Gregor were here, they would have at least tried to do something to break the ice, but neither Yoshu nor Honglu were the kind of people to be heavily affected by such a frosty mood, so we just strutted on with our investigation. Oh. Oh! Oh, he got him! Oh, that's not good. Oh. Looks like a culprit got him in the middle of something. He knows the Ripper. How could you tell? By looking at his eye, isn't it obvious? The look in his eye. It's the kind of look that people have in their eyes when getting killed by a rat that they know. And how do you tell that? Besides, he's not exactly dead, you know? Hmm. This dead body looks kind of different from the last one we saw, though. He's not... He's not a dead body either! But what is it? Look, the culprit tore his... Scarf and half. Maybe they really are. Maybe they really disagree with this fashion choice. <laughs> the Yura DVA must live like fools in the eyes of others, so that we may see a path invisible to them. Odia? Oh it's something that Sonya once said. He told me that a scarf was a joke to hide the great ambition that those with such dreams must remain bound. But I don't see her wearing that scarf. <laughs> it's just not my style. Then chopping the scarf in half would mean that... That the killer is a former member of the Yuga DVA. We should go back to the hideout and ask around. If anybody is left. Let's be serious. Normally, they vacate the hideout right away after the location has been discovered. But I guess some are still around. Damn it! The Ripper got our boss? Huh? Are you asking if anyone quit recently? Yes. Well, it's not like they are formally quitting or anything, but there were some who went completely off the grid. Someone who wanted to steal the surplus time at T Corp to share it equally amongst everyone. Yeah, I remember a lad who said something like that. When his younger brother died, he became a bit weird. Did anyone go along with that plan? I'm sure there are some, but we shouldn't. We are the Yuri Devie. We must bide our time until the saint give us the word. Is that so? And where is he? My dear, last I heard he said something like, I'll always be watching you. <laughs> Creepy, ain't it? But I suppose that means that he's still hanging about somewhere within T Corp's border, right? Ugh, our bossman's gonna be back to normal, right? Yeah. Once his time has been recovered. He's always been watching, you say, huh? Oh, man. Clock. Hmm? I always burn a sick after a kill. But, wait, you're always smoking. Because it takes about four minutes for a cigarette to burn all the way through. I get to watch as the light of life slowly burns out in their dying eyes. It really enhances the flavor of your shoe. Four minutes. I know that it takes exactly four minutes for the cigarette to burn away. But only two minutes have passed on that clock tower. 
the clock tower. Huh? Wait, that doesn't make sense. How could... How could no one notice that the clock tower was broken? This isn't a new development, by the way. From the moment our little game of detective started to this precise moment, the clock tower always measured only two minutes by the time that I finished smoking. Hmm? Didn't someone say that's because people have learned to be helpless? I've been waiting for something to get finished for a while. Oh, do you know how much of a pain it is to wait for something but always have too much time in your day? Oh, it is so tedious. Oh. He thinks it's a real border, standing guard here at the stop and search. So tedious. Tedious? Is tedious trigger word? Hey, assistants, what were the first two victims doing when the Ripper struck? Let's see, if one of them was attacked while perjuring a 13 flavored lollipop candy and the other was reading a comic book starring a T-Corp's inventor as its protagonist, I would say it's a pretty funny read. Are there a lot of clock towers in T-Corp? A total of 12 in the entirety of T-Corp, but just one in this general area. Time Ripper struck only near the clock tower, didn't he? Right on, detective. What if they slowed down the clock tower and made everyone in the area feel that sense of extreme tedium? Tedium? I see, so that is what it was. He can rip time only from people who are bored. The clock tower. It should give me a nice view to blow snow caps. Are you serious? I mean, you did have a really view in one of the pictures I give you that. Oh, here's something I forgot to mention. You know that you need actual evidence to make a, an arrest, right? Detectives? Of course, I know that. Huh? Wait, you didn't know that? <laughs> You have to catch them in the act. You can't just go around arresting people just because you feel like it. Yeah, that's true, but I guess some people like to do that occasionally. And let's be serious, if you wait for the killer to kill again in order to catch them in the act, that would be a bit cruel to the victim, right? You can't really ensure the safety of the victim. You don't know how they kill. What if it is poison? By that point of time, if you don't know the antidote, it might be too late, right? Oh yeah. What, do we have to let them attack us or something? Just so we can catch them in the act? Don't you know he can literally rip the time out of you? One small mistake and you might wake up weeks, months or even years later. You don't even know if that's the kind of thing that Dante can rewind. That's true. Yes, it's all very tragic, but it's part of your responsibility. You... Do you even care about catching the culprit? Or is learning how to rip time all that you really care about? Right on again, Ace Detective. <laughs> I once thought there was no invention in Teacup that I didn't know the ins and outs about. You see, I have this instructive knowledge of the mechanics of every single machinery in existence within Teacup. I even know about the bizarre contraption your friend back at the jail cell invented while he was there. I didn't want that invention to be beholden to T-Corp's patent agency. No, I wanted to watch as it spreads throughout the city, which is why I didn't try very hard to stop him as he escaped through the back streets. It wasn't because I was lazy, mind ya. <laughs> so to answer your question, no. Like in the case of the League of Nines literature, I don't care whether we catch the culprit or not. I'm just curious about the exact mechanism behind how he rips time. It's the nature of being an inventor, you know? That's true. How am I supposed to even get anything done with people like that? <laughs> well, um, excuse me, Mr. Assistant. I have something I would like to ask you. Back when my soul stood at the temporarily scale below, didn't the machine beep very loudly? Oh, that retired friend. Yes, it did. If you have the intrigued knowledge of this mechanism of every single machinery in existence within T Corp, then do you also know why it malfunctioned? Huh? Of course. 
And why is Nigelo able to take 10 billion aunt worth of time from assault? Was it really because it was broken? What are you talking about? It is statistically impossible for the machine of my design to have any faults. Usually, at least. Then the source of that error must be the salt. Or all of us, right? Not the machine. Huh? What are you all about? Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! You're not only looking the part, but also act the part of an ace detective. Couldn't fool me. <laughs> All credit goes to Lady Agatha. She did say that one of the qualities of an ace detective is a mind of, of bottomless inquisitive inquisitiveness, after all. <laughs> I thought the conditions of getting exempt of our time taxes was that we had to catch the culprit, right? That was what I was thinking when the class 5 auditor began speaking again as if to address my concerns. I'm not saying that I won't cooperate, of course. I may have even devised a plan for you. Though, it may be somewhat simple. Now, listen close. Hmm? He's not gonna talk about the plan right away? Okay, that's good. But then again, it might be for the best, because I just noticed we're running out of time. I hope you guys had fun in the next part, and I guess in the next part... They're going time killer hunting, huh? <laughs> the clock tower fear. Let's hope we don't run into any scissor mats, right? <laughs> Until next time, bye bye.